Coming up on Point News, Market Square evacuated. Point News is there as the bomb squad moves in to investigate what authorities say caused the scare. The semester is coming to a close. From Pirates tickets to t-shirts, see how graduating seniors celebrated their finals days here at Point Park. Plus, we'll take you to the new memorial honoring local war veterans on the North Shore. Point News starts now. Live from our studio in downtown Pittsburgh, you're watching Point News. Good afternoon, I'm Kelsey Metzger. And I'm Sydney Cooper. Things are back to normal this afternoon in Market Square, but that wasn't the case shortly after dinner time Wednesday. Pittsburgh police had to evacuate the square because of a suspicious package. Point News was there as the bomb squad arrived and meticulously went to work. Reporter Hunter Tresnicki has the timeline of the events. Here's the play-by-play -play of how things went down. At 6.42 p.m., police were in Market Square roping off areas with caution tape. Around 6.47 p.m., the Pittsburgh bomb squad arrived on the scene. Point News cameras arrived on the scene about 7 o'clock on the dot. At that time, officers told us we could not move our camera any closer. The entire inside part of Market Square was taped off. The officer told us in 20 minutes from when we got there, they would be detonating a suspicious object. Here we see men from the bomb squad setting up their camera to get a better look at the object. After evaluation, police and the bomb squad determined the object was not hazardous. Here we see a man from the bomb squad removing the object from the back of a one-way sign located outside Chipotle. He then picks it up off the ground, places it on a table, and begins using tools to open the object. Here's what we can see. It looks like some kind of canister that was blackened. It was glued to the back of this one-way sign. Around 7.28, police began taking down the caution tape and Market Square was again reopened to the public. Around 7.45 p.m., this is a statement we got from Pittsburgh police. Our bomb squad arrived. They evaluated it. They found nothing to be hazardous. They took possession of the object and we're going to make a further evaluation and our detectives will follow up. For Point News, I'm Hunter Tresnicki. This afternoon, police officials say they believe the suspicious package was a camera. And this week has been one of celebration for those graduating in a few weeks. Senior week is in full swing and all the fun began Monday at the kickoff event. I was there to experience it all. Graduating seniors came out to the Let's Kick It event to kick off senior week. It's a way for students to enjoy a few final laughs and the chance to let loose a little before finals. Realizing that a diploma was finally within reach electrified the room. It's surreal. I, I am really wanting a job first before I graduate, but, um, but I'm very excited. It's a huge accomplishment and my family supporting me, so it's really I'm just very excited. Students enjoyed the best of the 90s, a photo booth, crafting activities, and even a little something to satisfy their sweet tooth from the ice cream table. Organizers gave the first 25 students pirate tickets, but each student received a commemorative t-shirt that would forever mark the week. I love the t-shirts and the ice cream, and now we can decorate our hats and take fun pictures over there at the photo booth, so it's been awesome, especially the t-shirt. <laughs> well, Senior Week certainly got off to a great start, and the fun continues with a little bit of karaoke. Tonight's Senior Week event, Get In Sync, will take place at Buckhead Saloon from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Reporting for Point News, I'm Sydney Cooper. Going off from Senior Week, all are invited to celebrate Point Park's 2014 commencement ceremony Saturday, May 3rd at Consul Energy Center. The commencement speaker will be Executive Chairman of the PNC Financial Service Group, James Rohr. Graduates who have submitted an application for graduation will be recognized at the commencement program, which marks the completion of a significant chapter in their lives. Excited to be graduating. It's been a great three years. I've met a lot of cool professors, a lot of great students, see a lot of de dedication from a lot of people to make me um, push myself to come back in the fall for a double master's degree to one day become a professor. The doors open at 8.30 a.m. and students are to report to registration by no later than 9.30. The ceremony will begin at 10. But if you're not graduating this May, don't forget the deadline for the fall semester of applications for graduations are due July 31st. The United Student Government will have two new leaders this semester. For the fall 2014 semester, junior biological science major Julian Singleton will be the president 
and junior national security and intelligence major Andrew Ladon will be the vice president. Elections were all held last week. Both candidates ran unopposed. Students are optimistic about, about what the new USG administration will do for the university in the upcoming year. I would love to see the USG administration be more accessible to students and um, just, you know, so that we can go and talk to them and talk to them about what we think they should do. I would like to see more things done for the commuters because since our school's like made up of mostly commuters, I think more should be done for them. Students can contact the United Student Government with any questions or concerns by email at usg at pointpark.edu. Now that the weather is improving, there's a new attraction on the North Shore that's still unknown to many. Even though it was dedicated in December, plenty of Pittsburghers haven't had a chance to go and see the new World War II Memorial on the North Shore. The memorial cost $4 million to create, but there are still some families with military ties who are just seeing it for the first time. here so I came to check it out. It's got really, the architecture of it's really cool. I mean, little blurbs about everything in the pictures and whatnot. I, I enjoy the pictures. There's a lot of history in North Shore so I think it's a fitting area and I mean the river's right there. You got the fountain across, across the way. So I mean yeah, I, I think it's a good location. The memorial is located in between Heinz Field and the DeMonte Center just across the street from Stage AE. And Pittsburgh is showing up on the national map once again. Joanne Potosky is here to tell us more about the national forum headed our way in 2016. Joanne? Thanks, Sydney. First, the G20 Summit in 2009, then One Young World in 2012. Now, Pittsburgh has been selected as one of 15 potential cities to host the 2016 Democratic National Convention. President Barack Obama has visited, has visited Pittsburgh twice so far this year, and now his party could be next. Pittsburgh officials will have to submit a proposal to host the convention by June 6. The convention will make its decision by the end of the year or as late as early 2015. There's some stiff competition, though. Other cities that are being considered include Chicago, New York, and Atlanta. Las Vegas and Miami are also on the list. Local officials are pushing for the Pittsburgh to get to the convention. Allegheny County Executive Rich Fitzgerald told the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette it would be great to, quote, shine the spotlight on Pittsburgh again. The Supreme Court upheld a case against affirmative action Tuesday. Universities in Michigan will now ban racial preferences in their decisions for admitting students. Other states that have already had similar bans in place include Arizona, California, Florida, New Hampshire, Oklahoma, and Washington. And coming up next on Point News, we've seen our share of up and down temperatures this spring. Your weekend outlook is coming up. Plus, it was a race on the streets, the good cause that got Pirates fans walking and running through the city. We are a social people. We share our inspiration, wisdom, creations, and memories. We share what makes us laugh and what angers us. Built on the notion of a free flow of ideas, our country thrives on the freedom of speech. Without it, who would watch over our governing powers? And how would we share our history to make a difference for the future? It's this freedom to share that gives us a reason to listen. Hi, you're tuned in to Point Park University Television, and UView is for you. Stacy? Yes, Dan. UView is for you. 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 You view 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 is for you. To me, freedom of speech means there are no barriers to voice opinions. Communication is key to a functioning society and relationships in those societies. I believe our forefathers gave us this right so if concerns or problems arise, 
we have the right to respectively use words, aids, and body language to give our message. Compromise may not always be met, but when it does meet, it opens up the world to new ideas, relationships, and makes the world become a happier place. On your mark, get set, go! The City of Pittsburgh gathered for the 5K home run event this past weekend, and I was there for all the action. It is a beautiful day here in Pittsburgh for a race, and just behind me is the starting line where in just a few moments, over 5,000 runners and walkers will participate in the Pittsburgh Pirates 5K race. Participants of all ages gathered early Saturday morning for the fourth annual race, which took them through parts of downtown and the city's north side. The race ended with a big finish on the field of PNC Park, a moment that runners like former Point Park student Laura Quinn will never forget. Honestly, it was just a great time and I just love being out and the, the home stretch there on the field, it was amazing. Like It's a once in a lifetime opportunity. Following the event, organizers hosted a post-race party in the streets surrounding PNC Park. From music to hot dogs to Chick-fil-A prize wheels, participants came together to celebrate their accomplishment and to see who the day's winners were. Crews handed out a commemorative t-shirt and Pirates tickets to each participant to make sure the 2014 5K race would be unforgettable. All proceeds from the race benefited Pittsburgh Pirates charities. Reporting for Point News, I'm Sydney Cooper. A list of the 10 best jobs of 2014 was released this week, and some of the top jobs may surprise you. Number 10 is speech pathologist, while occupational therapist and computer systems analyst came in at 9 and 8. Also on the list are software engineer, dental hygienist, and tenured university professor. Good news for math majors, though, because mathematician comes in and the countdown at number 1. And you better start binge-watching your favorite Netflix shows. The company says prices will increase over the next few months probably about $2 or so, from the standard $7.99 per month. Netflix says it needs to raise the price so it can continue to provide new original content. Current subscribers will not have to pay the increased price for another several months. Warm, cold, rain, sun, we've seen it all this month of April. We've seen it all this week. As the final weekend rolls in, we'll have your weekend forecast. The baseball postseason is here for the pioneers, but the team's not satisfied yet what they need to do to make it to regionals. Freedom of speech is my right as an American to voice my opinion, or if I choose to, to stay silent. I have the right to practice my religion I have the right to publish my own works. With this right, we can be creative, innovative, and change the world. For more information, visit www.freedomofspeechpsa.org. Do you know all the things you can do with your student ID? <laughs> Along with getting discounts to some of the restaurants around campus. Showing your Point Park ID can net you deals on tickets at theaters in the Cultural District. To check out all the current options, just search Student Discounts on the Point Park University homepage. An expression. A belief. A symbol. Freedom to worship. An unspoken word. To express yourself means standing up for what you believe in. So there's a freedom to worship freedom to live, to speak never saying a word, to love, to let your voice be heard, the light of your own path. For more information, visit www.freedomofspeechpsa.org. weather started off nice and warm no jacket needed but now the chill is back so how long will we will we be seeing these low temperatures Chris Hoffman is here with a look around the country and an update on your weekend outlook Chris please give us some good news that the warmer weather that was here at the beginning of the week is here to stay well right now Kelsey it's not looking too good you can see there Pittsburgh is sitting at 47 degrees 
much of the Northeast as a whole, it's just been a hodgepodge this week. We've had warm, we've had cold, we've had rain, we've had snow. But right now in the south, it's feeling pretty nice there as it's about 80 degrees down in Texas. But it is going to maybe get a little bit better here as we take a look at the systems moving through the United States now. Right there, that red, that's a warm front. So that's good things for what you want to see. And high pressure, so that means sun's in the area, warmth moving through, but a little bit of rain. But you know what? After being in the 40s, I think we'll take it as let's take a look at what you're looking for today. We start off at 36, 54 at noon. But hey, you know what? It's going to recover. It's going to get to 62 by 5 p.m. And you know what? After the way it started, that's a pretty good recovery. Now we're going to take a look here at your weekend. 69 on Friday, 45 degrees, but it's not going to be such a beautiful day in the neighborhood with it raining on Friday. Saturday will recover, though. 68 degrees, 37, and it'll be partly cloudy. Good night to go down to the big board with the Penguins being in town. And then Sunday will be 64 and 44, partly cloudy. And then taking a look at our current temperatures around the area. Pittsburgh sitting at 55, 50 in Butler. Just about everyone sitting around the 50 to mid-50 degree mark. Only see it didn't get the memo this morning was Johnstown sitting at 48 degrees. But something we have not had to worry about being on fire all season and really heating it up has been the Point Park baseball team. And Ryan Bailey has them over at sports. Thanks, Chris. That's right. The Point Park Pioneers baseball team has been waiting all year for this. The postseason is finally here. The team wrapped up its regular season last week and finished first in the KIAC. The Pioneers finished with an impressive record of 35 wins and just 13 losses, winning 19 of their last 21. And because of their first place finish, Point Park got a bye in round one of the conference tournament. Today they play Berea in their first postseason game. Point Park is currently ranked 23rd in the nation, but it looks as though they will have, a tough, they will have to win the conference tournament if they are going to make regionals. And the number two ranked Brescia seems to be the biggest threat to the Pioneers in the conference. They are the only KIAC team to beat Point Park this year, winning all four games of the regular series. The tournament ends on Monday. Turning to the leagues right now, the Pittsburgh Pirates are playing the Cincinnati Reds at PNC Park. The score is 1-0 in the bottom of the fifth inning. The Reds currently have a 2-1 lead in the four-game series. And despite being heavily favored and owning a two-games-to-one lead in the series, the Penguins haven't exactly looked dominant against the, the Columbus Blue Jackets. But last night, they came out of the gates in dominant fashion, jumping out to a 3-0 lead. But then the Blue Jackets clawed back, completing their comeback with less than a minute left in the third period, when Marc-Andre Fleury misplayed a puck behind his own net, letting Brian Dubinsky bury it with less than a minute left in the third. The Blue Jackets ended up winning the game in overtime. The series is now tied up at two games apiece, and Game 5 will be at home on Saturday night. Thanks for watching Point News. This newscast is our final show for the semester. Have a great summer, everyone.